Man claims he spent 10 days in an alien civilization. UFO fans gear up for talk from Kiwi. Alec Newwald says he was abducted by aliens and taken to an extraterrestrial civilization where he spent 10 days. And here's what he claims happened. This is on News Australia, news.com AU. It was a normal Monday morning, February 1989, when Alec Newwald set off on a three hour drive to Auckland from Rotorua in New Zealand's volcanic heart. But what the 70 year old Kiwi claims to have experienced on that journey changed his perception of the universe forever. Newwald says he was taken by extraterrestrials to an advanced civilization and stayed there for 10 days. After passing through a winding, foggy mountain route, he arrived in Auckland feeling tired and confused. However, he was even more confused to learn that Monday was now Thursday, 10 days later, and he had no idea how he had lost all those days. In a talk at Ride Eastwood Leagues Club in Sydney's West, Mr. Newwald revealed exactly what he believes happened in those days, claiming his experience with that the friendly beings, quote unquote, has, quote, profound implications for all of us here on Earth, end quote. Offering a book called Co-Evolution, talking to global UFO media outlets since its experience back then in 1989, the Kiwi has set out what he experienced. Speaking on American UFO and Paranormal Radio Show, as you wish talk radio, he recalled the moment he was plucked from that winding mountain road. He said, quote, I was like, what the hell is going on here? I was driving the car and I felt like a ton of bricks had landed on me, like someone had poured cement on me. I felt like I was pushed into the seat of the car. I was paralyzed. I could not turn the wheel or apply the brakes or do anything, end quote. He says he was zooming down the road at 100 kilometers an hour towards a cliff face at the time and he braced for impact. Then he said he woke up in a cavernous space filled with flashing neon blue lights. He was convinced he was dead as he believed he was in spirit form and he was experiencing the afterlife, he thought. He claims to have never even thought about UFOs before that point and to have never taken drugs. He said, quote, I'm just like a wispy ghost with no form at all. I found I could maneuver myself by moving my consciousness forward or sideways, end quote. And surrounded by other spirit forms, quote unquote, it was then he claims to have felt a tap on the shoulder. Here's how Mr. Newell describes what happened next in his book, quote, Looking up, I realized we were being approached by three aliens the tallest of them looking like my escort from earlier on, he wrote. And he adds, the second one was just a little shorter and was male as far as I could tell. The third was much smaller, much smaller, and walked ahead of the other two. He, for want of a better word, was slightly built and with a roundish head and rather unusual squinty eyes which were well spaced and placed rather lower down than are our own. He had a very small mouth, but I did not notice any ears or much of a nose. His physical appearance, however, was of almost no consequence, for I was immediately struck with an almost overpowering feeling of his presence. I cannot say it was hypnotic, if anything the opposite. It was as if his energy was being projected and absorbed by my body." Unquote. As he moved further, he claims to have seen physical objects emerging which looked like buildings and the entities which guided him there started to take physical form. He claims they then told him to stop, uh, to step into a machine which would build a body for him, and he saw his body forming beneath him. On As You Wish talk radio, he said the aliens were trying to reconstruct themselves so they could exist on Earth. As if his alleged experience was not strange enough, he started receiving visits from officials warning or wanting that is to know more about his experiences especially about the capabilities of this extraterrestrial race once he was back on earth ahead of his sydney talk the uh, he told extraterrestrial enthusiasts ufo researchers nsw incorporated the experience was a quote very hard pill to swallow and quote and one 
which has dominated his life ever since. Newell said, try absorbing that and continue to live your life as if nothing has changed. Perhaps an even bigger surprise was, with the exception of a few, the more I tried to share this information, the harder my life became. I was ostracized by people you might have expected from, uh, support from. In fact, even before I tried to share any of the things I had learned, my life started to become more than difficult and became impossible to continue on as before. I'll leave links below for you for this. In my opinion, it could be that this was a demonic experience because we know that many times demons also appear to us as alien beings. Hence the feeling of fear and dread. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.